In this first video, I will show you how to make one electrical model in Ellipse Power. So in your domain, if you want to design your electrical model, you have to go to Server Object, Power, Configuration, Power Configuration. Then in Power Configuration, I will choose the one before the last tab, Electrical Model. Here, I will click one time and I will write one name for my electrical model file, Power Model. This file will contain all the model of our system. Press open and now here in system, I can design my electrical model. I can insert substation, like two substation. I can also insert feeders. Between substation, I can use transmission line just to use your mouse you click one time and you can just link like this by pressing clicking pressing and releasing here same between one substation to the feeder i can use jumper here click press 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 release I click i maintain and i release click Maintain and release. Okay, so these three elements substation, here we have transmission line, and here we have feeder. These three mo main elements is the one I can find here substation, feeders, and transmission line. So inside each of the substation, for example, I can go inside and I can make one model inside my substation one. For example, here I can insert some component here and then I can go back home. This is high call is to go home. So in my substation one I have something. I can go up and I can go to substation two and here I can make my design. This is this is all the elements connected to substation two. As you can see substation two is connected to Substation 1 and the 3 feeder. So when I go inside, I have my connection. Okay, so I can arrange my connection and I can also build something between as a detail of this substation 2. If I go to substation feeder 1, I can also describe my feeder 1 and I can connect to the substation 2 because this is the link between the feeder 1 and substation 2. As same as if I go to substation 1, I will find a one transmission line, the one which is here. So we can have multi-layer model. So in our case, I want to make a very small application as example. So I will just delete everything and I will keep only my substation 1. I will go inside and I will build my single line diagram for substation 1. So here we have different elements. Jumper, branch, graphical vertex, node, breaker, switch, switch fuse. We have two kind of transformer. Then we have a load, generator, and reactor, capacitor, and bus bar. So let's start with the first one, bus bar. So I click left click on bus bar and I will just draw one line here as you can see we can here I can move the title to make it more clear and my line seems not to be perfectly aligned with the screen horizontally so I can use one tool called the grid and I can see here is not aligned to grid so I can also use the other tool which is the align on grid and automatically I can align my component on screen which is more neat. So we have our bus bar so let's insert one breaker and one switch. 
also we can choose to insert one transformer and one feeder so this is very small single line diagram with different components so if i want to complete i need to make my line going through all the equipment so i can use the jumper and i can link all of them but first i want to add one generator which is a power source so i can rotate the component if i want left click rotate and first i will start from here this generator is yellow color the reason why is yellow color is because the voltage now for my generator one the voltage here in property the base voltage is 13.8 so means yellow how to check this information we can go to voltage and here we have 13.8 is yellow if i change the voltage to the other i will have different color so for example if i choose 69 so if i go to power model and here i choose the base voltage to be 69 then the color will change to green here also for transformer i have a base voltage one and base voltage two so if i choose a different voltage then we have different color to apply to the source so for example if i change also to 138 the color would be red color so we can refer to this table for the voltage we can also add more voltage if we want to okay so i will link my component first i choose jumper and i go here to the junction point junction point of my generator and i will link this junction point to my bus bar and automatically the bus bar will take the information of the base voltage coming up from the source so the, the topology processor will just pass the voltage to all the components so if i link my bus bar to the breaker one the breaking one also will turn to red color and so on to the switch and also to the transformer but if i link here to the transformer automatically everything become white color the reason is because the system now have two power source one is generator one is transformer but these two power source have different base voltage this one is 69 this one is 138 so there is a conflict in the processor because the system doesn't know which power source to follow so we have to choose the same base voltage for the two source 69 and then everything is back to green means the same color with here if i change here to 138 then i have to choose here also 138 okay here i can choose base voltage a different one that green and then the last one i can jump use a jumper and connect to the load so we made our electrical model so this is this electrical model is only a model we can use this model and we can import this model to make our screen but this is not our screen it's just a model so there is no any way to change the looking of the component because this component are just a model this way we tell the system the connection between all the equipment so to use this model and to create a screen from this model we need to use a library 
a library is made with x control and x object. So a library contains for each component we have here one x control as the visual interface for each component. So now we need a file, a LIV file that contains all the library for every component in this model. So we have to go here when we install the ellipse power in program file ellipse software ellipse power demo power i have already in a demo some library lib file power control lib and power display lib so i will copy these two files which are already in my system in this path i will copy them I close and then I will open the project and I will paste them in my current folder. Then I will open them one by one and I will add the library to my domain. So I will add the two files and press yes. So the difference is like right now I have two more files in my domain. And if I look carefully in the library, I have the X control for every component in my model. So they are just X control and it's easy to modify them to make the symbol we want. So now I can use this library to import the model in order to make a screen, a single anagram in my application. So if I go to the initial screen, here I have nothing. So I will use the model I just made in Power Configuration to import the single anagram automatically in the screen. So as you remember, we have X control, which we are ready here. And also the system will help us to build the substation we just made in the model. Because here in the substation, I can also insert components, but the system will do it for us. So to proceed, we choose power configuration by right click and we choose electrical model and we just First, we can import the data object. Then we can just create a new project for each new object. Press OK. And now in substation, the system automatically built the substation one. And inside we have all different components. Breaker one, bus bar one, generator, load, switch, transformer. These are the components we just insert in our model. Now they just exist for real. The system just make them, create them based on our model. And now we also need to make the single diagram on screen. So we can choose import screen object and we choose substation one and the screen we want to import the diagram. Also, if I didn't do the last, the previous step, like to make the substation one and to import all the components, to make all the components, I can also click here if I didn't do this step before. I press OK. And now in our screen, we have our diagram ready. And this diagram here, first I will change the background color to black. I have more contrast. So here I have my diagram. And if I click here on the breaker, I will find out that this is X control. This is X control we have here. Breaker one is this one. And if I look carefully, this breaker is connected as subject we have substation one breaker. So this X control is connected to 
breaker one in my substation one. Switch one is connected to switch one here, then transformer, same, we have connection here, transformer one, then load, everything is connected. We can save and we can run. So now we have our system. So you can see here I have two different colors. This base voltage here is very bright and here is pale color. Why? It's because our blocker one is open. So the current coming from the generator one just stop at the breaker one. So here this line, this this bar is energized but this line here is not energized so the color is different it's the same color but is bright when it's energized and not bright when it's not energized how to check this information in our power configuration I go to voltage for the port I choose the voltage is 138 so it's red color so here this is energized color it's bright red and when it's not energized then it will take the half value to make not a bright color. I can also customize by unchecking this box and I can choose my own color. But automatically when you add a new color, it will automatically define a bright color and not a bright color based on the same color. So in my project, bright red is energized and not energized is not bright red. So our single line diagram is ready.